Okay, the last lesson we did problems um, where we set up and solved systems of equations. So you're going to use this, the front and the back, to help you on the assignment for today. So one, two, and three, you should be able to do just by looking at these uh, notes that we did. Number four is a little different. So we are going to do number four and five together. So let's look at it. One gym charges $40 a month and $3 per exercise class. Another gym charges $20 per month and $8 per exercise class. After how many exercise classes will the monthly cost be the same and what will that cost be? Okay, so what's confusing about this is that they have per twice in each of the sentences. So it's like $40 per month and $3 per exercise class. $20 per month and $8 per exercise class. Um, so what we are going to do is we are just going to look at one month at a time because it's billed by the month. So our variables are going to be not the months. It's going to be exercise classes and then cost. So we're going to say X is going to be the exercise classes. So I'm going to put the variable over here. So X is exercise classes. So it says after how many exercise classes, so that's your X, will the monthly cost, so we're going to say monthly cost is Y. Or just let's So we'll do the first gym. So one gym charges $40 a month, so $40 a month, plus the $3 per exercise class. So this is cost equals. So we're going to actually say Y equals. The second gym is $20 per month. So 20 for the monthly charge was $8 per exercise class. Y equals. These are written in Y equals form, but we can rearrange them. When we put them in matrix form, we want AX plus BY equals C. I'm going to move this to the other side by subtracting it. So minus 3X on this side, minus 3X on that side. So whenever you do that, it's now negative 3X plus y equals 40. And we want it in the ax plus by equals c, so we can use the matrix. So we'll do the same thing to the second equal. We need to move the 8x to the other side. We do the opposite, so minus 8x. So negative 8x plus y equals 20. So now it's in the right form. We want to find what x, how many exercise classes, y, the cost. So it's going to be negative two, one, forty, and negative eight, one, twenty. So get out your calculator so you can do the matrix. So you're going to write your input matrix and then your output solution matrix also. So follow the steps for the matrix, put in the RREF, put in the matrix, make sure it's a 2 by 3, and put in your numbers. Okay, so I'm going to write my output matrix, 1, 0, 4, 0, 1, 52. So remember, it should have those zeros as diagonals. 
And because the order is X, Y, X, Y, I'm looking then we do the same order, X, Y. So X is 4, Y is 52. So remember, X is exercise classes, Y is cost. So four exercise classes, $52, that is when they are the exact same. That's the only one like that. But we are going to do number five together also. Hundred and ten point final exam is made up of fifty questions. Some questions are worth two points, and some are worth four points. How many of each type of question are there? So the way you know what your variables are is you look at the question. It says how many of each type of question are on the test. Well, there are two types. The two types are the questions that are worth two points and the questions that are worth four points. Those are your two types. I'm just going to assign them like X and Y. So X is the two-point question. And Y will be the four point question. So let's say the two point questions are your true false question or your multiple choice. But the four point questions are harder. Maybe they're ones that are free response. So those are your two variables. That's what you're trying to find out. So that's their value. So we have a total value and a total number of questions. So this will be like. The drama club one. This was total ticket and total cost. We're going to have an equation that total question, and we're going to have another equation that total point. And we're going to use our variables to make those equations. So total questions is 50. So there are two point questions and four points. So together, if you look at your answer choices, these should add up to equal 50. And they do. So I would just write as x plus y equals 50. That's your total question. We have to use the other total value, which they gave us a total of 110 points on the exam. So what you do is you assign a value to your variable. So X is your two point question. So the value of that question is two points. So it's two X. The value of Y is four points. And it has a total value of 110. So we're going to do, set up our map. So we're going to use this matrix to put it into the calculator. So let's put it in. So follow the same steps. So second matrix, math, or REM, alpha zoom. There it goes. So the one should be diagonal, which they are. So I'm going to go ahead and write the output 0, 1, or 1, 0, 45, 0, 1, 5. So x is the first one, y is the second. So x is your two-point question, so equals 45 of them. Y is your four-point question, so there's five of those.
Okay, if you want to color it, that's fine. There is a mistake on this coloring. So look at the coloring part. Some of the copies are fixed, some aren't. So see how this two is this heart right here? The eight is also in there. So I'm gonna mark that eight here and put it here. It just, yeah, some of them are fixed, some of them aren't. Okay, so make sure to finish this and then you're gonna start the test. Reading.